All right, so I finished watching Ludwig, which is a new co comedy drama series starring David Mitchell, which I'm just going to tell you the, the premise of the show because, well, it's in the trailer and that, but I'm going to avoid uh, spoilers for this. But basically, the show is about David Mitchell playing his own identical twin brother and him having to impersonate his twin brother who has went missing and trying to solve the mystery on what happened to him but at the same time his brother was a detective and he's having to solve murder mysteries along the way which he's very good at since he's a puzzler named Ludwig and the thing is you might have noticed I've forgotten the name of the character because the thing with David Mitchell he's really good in this the problem is with David Mitchell the characters he plays and that a lot of the time it's hard to distinguish where David Mitchell ends and the character begins. It's clearly written with David Mitchell in mind, and I couldn't think of a, you know, I could never think of anyone else playing him. And yeah, for the most part, if it wasn't for the sort, it's kind of taking a lot of uh, things from other sort of murder mystery type things or crime sh shows and kind of merging them all in together because D David Mitchell who plays uh, the twin brother in this, his brother who was a detective, he was, you know, the confident, more outgoing type one, whereas the one that we follow in the show, and that the other brother, who is basically a recluse, who still lives at their parents' house, whose uh, dad abandoned them in 1989, and uh, basic, basically he's you know, forced out of the house who, by Lewin, I'm trying to talk about this, but yeah, uh, basically, the way these are done, uh, kind of reminds me, in some cases, of Jonathan Creek, in some ways, so yeah, I'm not saying this is a spiritual successor, but in some ways, it kind of reminds, Ludwig, you know, it kind of reminds me of a more awkward and even more socially awkward than that Jonathan Creek in a few ways. But obviously you've got the other layer of, you know, he's trying to pretend to be his brother who is, you know, more confident than that. And then there's this, you know, the overarching mystery in the background. But each episode, apart from the final episode in that, to an extent in that, all have, you know, separate sort of murder mysteries and that in there. And for the most part, you know, they are sort of... You do have to try and, you know, guess what it is that happened and that. But in some cases, it's basically impossible. And that I do like the ones where the audience can solve the mystery and that. And looking back, there was the obvious clues. That's the case some of the time here. But in other occasions, it really isn't. But we've got strong performances across the board in this. And to be honest, it's really hard to talk about this series and that without giving things away in this. But suffice to say, if you like David Mitchell and you like sort of, you know, either a crime or murder mysteries, you know, not just like Jonathan Creek, but also like Sher Sherlock or or other, you know, Praro, other, you know, crime investigation series and that. But you also like... This one does have, obviously, more of a comedic edge and that to it at times and that. But it all still... It's not like uh, they're taking the piss out of the murders or anything. They're still taking seriously that the comedy mainly comes from how awkward and that David Mitchell's character and that is around people. And also him, obviously, being awkward on an extra level because, well, he's trying to basically be his brother. So... Yeah, and I will say, you know, hopefully this does get a second series and that. Hopefully it does uh, get a second se series and that because uh, it doesn't, again, minor spoiler alert, but, you know, it doesn't resolve everything and that. It doesn't resolve everything. It leaves things very open-ended and that and basically doesn't explain everything. But, yeah, highly recommend it.